Um, so I guess the one university system that the state really has control over is the University of Massachusetts. Right. Um, and the community colleges. And, and the state community colleges, colleges and the yeah. state colleges. Uh, but just to give an example, UMass increased tuition 5.8% last year. Um, like, what can you guys yeah. on Beacon Hill do about that? Uh, should the state be allocating more funding with conditions that if we, you know, give you the funding you need, you won't raise tuition? Um, are there ways that you can pressure or encourage public universities to yeah. not raise tuitions and fees? Like, what, what is going on on Beacon Hill on that issue? So, frankly, not enough. Um, and part of this is actually a generational issue, which is you actually have very few elected officials in the state who are who are young uh, and who have who are you know understand the experience. I'm sure, there are plenty of kids going to college. <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. So you know, actually, so actually, you you do see a little bit of an alignment um, among kind of our younger elected officials. You know, people in their late twenties, thirties, and actually, um, the on the other end, the parents of people who are in their twenties who are who are kind of struggling to pay for college. But generally speaking, you know, I think it's it's embarrassing, frankly, that in a lot of cases, our state and our country spends more on prisons uh, than we do on higher education. People should be outraged uh, about that. So we've actually done some work in our millennial caucus that we're in the process of getting formed to kind of get everyone together to make this a big focus. So I'll give just a few examples of, of what we can do. I absolutely think we should tie taxpayer support to controlling tuition increases. That's common sense. Uh, and we have done, the legislature has done that in the past. I think we need to be even more forceful about that. When public dollars are being invested, there needs to be a concerted effort to keep costs under control. So absolutely that. Some other creative things, better use of technology, you know, mobile learning, um, things like uh, online open source textbooks. I, I uh, worked on an initiative last year. We're going to do it again this session to um, break down some of the regulations around textbooks. All of us who have ever been in school know what a racket that is uh, because you you know, you know pay tuition, you pay for all these other expenses, and then you're slammed in some cases with thousands of dollars in textbook expenses. A lot of those textbooks have been around for decades and are barely changed edition to edition. If you open that up, create open source textbooks, create online textbooks, um, you can you could dramatically reduce costs 